we're in a moment of climate emergency where it's imperative for the creative community to lean forward and think about how we can help make a cultural shift and get the change that we need quickly. Climate communications is one of our most effective tools that we have to address the emergency, but right now we're not at a place with climate communications where it's actually being effective. We were longing to hear from any artist, storyteller, working in any kind of non-fiction, making a project where the question of climate was at the heart of the story. We have selected 12 storytelling projects that range from documentaries to VR, podcasts to shorts. The project is about reimagining our relationship to the rest of the living world through our act of breathing. We're working with an augmented reality technology that allows us to see our environment while at the same time seeing digital elements in it. There really isn't a separation between natural systems and capital systems. That's what it is that, that Signal really strives to break through. There's a normalized way that we've been over the years talking about the gloom and doom of it, and people don't want to hear that. You enjoy things more when it's funny or when some celebrity that you love is talking about it. This week, I think over 150 extraordinary humans are going to come through this space. Artists, creatives, cultural organizations, folks working in education, psychology, physics, biology, political strategists, to community organizers, to funders, all kind of coming together to think about how we can really leverage the power of storytelling to inspire climate action. You should make climate change personal in your lives. Get angry and get active. Scientists want to talk to you guys. We want to answer your questions because actually talking to you makes us better scientists. It was incredibly difficult to select the 12 projects that we did. They're coming at climate from a myriad of different kind of perspectives, and each of them has a very different potential in terms of the audience that they can reach. And that's really going to be one of the businesses of this week, to figure out you know, what do you need? How can we help you? What are the allies that you're missing? What are the connections you need to be made? What's the piece of strategy you feel unsure about? And how can we help? It's so incredible how encouraging everyone is in that room. Hands are flying up as soon as the presentation's done. As Swedish filmmakers, we are not used to this connection between activism and filmmaking. We don't have any funds for outreach campaigning, so we're just so excited to be able to uh, learn more about it. I hope to take this energy and uh, everything that I'm learning back to Canada. What we're hoping to get from the lab is financial support, organizational support, as well as consultants to really help determine what stories need to be at the heart of the series as a whole. We can't have climate justice until we really democratize power and democratize our economy. I think there's a heightened awareness, but there's not a heightened action. Kids don't need more information about this. They want people to tell the story of their lives' effect on the climate movement. My interest is not necessarily in advocating for a particular model of success, but advocating for humans, which is the role of journalism. The things that I don't know how to do, which are legion, I am already getting from people in like the brief time, you know, two days, a day and a half that, that we've been here. Are we asking people simply to donate or are we trying to make a federal policy change? Posing that question to the room was so helpful because we had all these answers back at us like I can connect you with this person. I know that I'm already telling Jesus like we need to talk to this person. I want to talk to this person, so I'm excited that I don't have to get it in in the next three days, that I have a whole year of building that relationship out. I really hope that it, it starts a conversation with the youth. That's what I hope. I hope the youth gets inspired and riled up as well. In this space, in this room, remembering that we can change the narrative is really, really, really important. The role of the artist, of the storyteller, to transcend these times of division and fear is huge.